Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I, uh, I had a thought today that's worth considering to do with the subconscious mind and the conscious mind that I've discussed uh, in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. You can go there and search for the categories um, subconscious mind and conscious mind. Um, so the idea is that when children are very little, their intelligence proceeds from the subconscious mind, from the gut brain. And uh, then as they reach the age of reason, then their conscious mind takes over and adds discernment, discrimination, and discretion to the images that it receives uh, to do with the subconscious mind. It, it, abstract reasoning begins to take place. And so it's a different kind of, of, it's a different kind of filter for the images taken in from the physical world. Um, one that involves rational judgment and understanding of risks involved in various kinds of behaviors, that kind of thing. So, I had a thought that when people become very drunk or when they're asleep and when other people talk to them when they're drunk or when they're asleep, then they might offer advice or concepts or that have to do with subconscious awareness without any understanding of risks or rational reasoning or anything like that. Just strange things. And if the other person, the person receiving this information is in a similar state, either as an astral traveler, as a fellow person who was inebriated, something like that, then the poor advice that a person receives from the gut brain of the drunken person might go directly into the recipient's gut brain too and leave a lasting impression as a negative samskara. You see what I mean? If for instance, if, if for instance one person said to another person in a drunken state, um, you know, the police can be bought in any case. It doesn't matter what kind of crime you do. And yet, we all know that's not true, you know, but but the state of receptiveness of the person receiving the information is such that their guard is completely down, their, their rational filters are gone, you know. And so, over and over again, as especially when they're in an inebriated state once again, or if they're sound asleep, I, the astral traveler, will hear their, their gut brain saying this very thing. And it seems there's no way for a conscious person to erase that information, but instead it may get acted out in the school of hard knocks. They may be punished for it by the law and find out way too late that something that was said in a, in a drunken state or in a state of sleepiness wasn't true at all. You know what I mean? So it's very important for us to use discernment in heeding the advice of other people, I feel, and, and not to act on advice that we receive either when we're in a drunken state or else when we're sound, half asleep, to, to look over the, the dreams that rampage through the astral layers the night before and decide which of them we care to act on and which of them we care to set aside. That's it for today. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.